Okay, good afternoon, mga ganun. So, start po tayo, Erika, um, 1.05. Okay po. Thank you.
So we have 17 for the attendance. It's already 105. Okay, um, Erica, start po tayo ng 110. Okay, start na po tayo, Erica. Start na po, ma'am. Yes po. Thank you. Dear Father in heaven, thank you for today. Thank you for ways in which you provide for us all. For your protection and love, we thank you. Help us to focus our hearts and minds now and what we are about to learn. Help us to study well. Help us to be obedient and honest. Help us to love one another. Bless our teacher, bless our school, bless our country, and bring us all to heaven. We ask all this in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you so much, Erica. Wait lang po ha. Wait lang po. Okay. Uh, malinaw po ba ako? Uh, 
Uh, thank you so much. Okay po. Okay. So again, good afternoon. So before we are going to start with our new lesson for today, it's all about nail structures and shapes. Uh, we shall have first a uh, review. Are you ready for our review for today? So we have four pick one word. Alam kong alam nyo po ito. So we're going to have a a uh, short review you are going to write your answer in the chat box and every slides that is asked for you to answer malabo po okay na po ba you are going to write your answer in the chat box and every slides okay ready is asked for you to answer. Okay, very good. Malabo po, okay na po ba? So first we have Okay. Type your answer. Ready. What is asked from the pictures given? Okay, very good. Malabo po, okay na po ba? So first Very good. Okay, you have your answer. So we're going to Okay, you have your really correct answer if everybody send your answer for first picture. Correct answer if everybody send your Okay. So, mag-stop po tayo kay Branzuela. Okay na po. So, we have... So, mag-stop po tayo kay Branzuela. Okay na po. So, we have... Wait na. Nag echo Bakit kayo nag echo Naglit lang po. Naglit lang po ah. Okay, ready? So for question number one, I pictures. Number one, we have headband. Okay, very good. For those who have the correct answer, that is five points. So I am going to recheck your answer after po ng live streaming natin. Okay, next po. May echo po, ma'am. Okay na po ba? Wala ng echo. Meron pa rin. Okay, sige. Just type your answer for pictures shown for number two. Okay, thank you so much, Gali. Okay, so you have your answers. So everybody send already their answers. So we are going to reveal the correct answer. 
So, sino po yung nakapagsagot ng tama? So, mostly, ang pinasa po ninyo is PPE. That is the... The complete... Okay, the complete package po, nakasama na yung headband, kasama na yung other materials or equipment. Yun po ang tinatawag nating PPE. But then, this question, we have the correct answer, the smackdown. Okay, next question po. Next pictures. Ay nako, napakadali. Sana lahat po makapagbigay ng tamang sagot. It's very easy for you to identify and everybody wear this one every now and then. Okay, so you have your answers. So stop po tayo kay, so sino yung last na nag-send ng sagot, Ramones? Remember, once lang po tayo mag-send ng sagot. Okay po, so we have Dizon. So si Dizon po yung last na nag-send. Okay, very good. That is called the mask. Oh, and dyan pa si Vance. Hindi pa nakasin. Okay, next po. How about the next pictures? What is that? Okay, it should be correct answer. We have, what do you think? Two words? One word? Okay, so we have, let us check if all your answers are correct. Okay, we have the protective eyewear. So it should be two words, protective eyewear. Eye protection, so let us check your answers po ha. I review ko po yung mga sagot ninyo na sinend nyo po. Okay, we have the protective eyewear, very good. Okay po, next. Next pictures. Okay. You have all your answers already? So we have the correct answer, the gloves. Very good. Okay. So those... R, D, P, P, E. Okay po? So, do not forget those important things for you to wear when you are going performing a nail care activities. Okay? So, today, we are going to discuss the diagram of the nail and its structures. So, take a look with our given picture for you to visualize the parts of the nail. So, tingnan nyo po yung sample picture ko po dyan. Can you identify the different parts of the nail? 
Dito muna tayo sa parts of the nail. Okay, give me the different parts of the nail. Sa ano po ninyo, kung nakikita nyo po sa left side, sa left side of the pictures. Okay, yes, we have the answer already by Gasbon, body of nail. Very good. What else? Body of the nail. Remember where we are going to find the body of the nail. So, tandaan nyo po ha kung saan part ng nail natin yung body. Okay po? Then, Lunula. Very good. We have also the free edge of nail. Okay? Yung eponic skium, that is the cuticle. So, the term po na known natin is the cuticle. Okay po. Then we have also the lunula. Okay, very good. So those are the parts of the nail and its structures. So we have different structure uh, we have here the structures of the nail for you to identify. So let us check. We are going to define the different parts of the nail. Ano yung functions? Bakit saan po siya nakikita? Okay po. Okay, the structure of the nail. Okay, so we have the first one. Okay, when we say lanula, what is lunula? Sorry. If you have an idea, what is the meaning of lunula? That is part or, or the structure of the nail. Yung may mga advanced reading po ng module ninyo, alam ko meron kayong hawak. So you can answer my question. What do you mean by lunula? Okay, gali, the pearly colored and Crescent shape is due to the cells being, okay, ano yung next statement? Being pushed closely together, very good. We have also Erica, you have also your answer, very good. Is the visible portion of the distal nail, the matrix extends beyond the proximal nail fold. Okay, so for Lunula, so, and La Paz, Villanueva, then Juliana, Juliana, si Juliana and Erica, Vance, you have the point. So, you have your five points. So, for Lunula, the pearly colored and crescent shaped is due to the cells being pushed closely together. The blood capillaries cannot be sent through the lanula because of this. Okay, so kanina yung pinapakita ko sa inyo na sample pictures, ma-identify natin kung saan part yung lunula. Okay po, so tandaan nyo po yun. Okay, next, how about cuticle? Alam kong familiar kayo sa word na cuticle. Okay po, so saan po yan na part? Saan po makikita yung cuticle? Okay, the cuticle, very big, the uh, overlapping, okay, from the word overlapping, very good. So, yun po yung overlapping epiderm epidermis around the nail. Okay, very good. So, you have the correct answer. So, lahat po na nag-send ng answer, that is correct. So, cuticle, the overlapping. Epidermis around the nail, it is the transparent skin. So, nakikita po natin yan sa part ng skin natin, yung transparent skin, yun po yung cuticle. Mostly, pag mag, 
uh, gumagawa po kayo ng nail activity, tinatanggal po yan. Okay po? Di ba? Napapansin nyo, tinatanggal po yan ng mga nag, uh, nagmamanicure sa mga kamay ninyo. Okay, sa parents ninyo, so makikita nyo agad kung ano yung cuticle. Okay po? Okay, how about the next picture? So we have also here the sample pictures beside the PowerPoint presentation. So we're going to find the free edge. Okay, very good, Catherine. Okay, the part of the nail that can be... Uh, wait lang ha. Filed and we have can be filled and shaped. Okay. So, saan part kaya natin makikita yung free edge? Wait na, kasi may nag-chat ng grade 9 namin. Okay, we have also John Kenneth. You have the correct answer. Marie Claire. Then, we have Christian, Vance. Then, Mary Jane, Barrientos. You have the correct answer. Ariane, Castillo, and Valenzuela also. Briol. Very good. So, free edge, the part of the nail that can be filed and shaped, then it is an extension of the nail plate that overlaps the hyponychium. Okay po. So, nakita nyo kanina kung saan part po yun of the nail, makikita yung free edge. Okay po. Napapansin nyo yun? Okay. How about the matrix? Okay, how about the matrix? The only living producing part of the nail. Okay. So, saan natin makikita yung matrix? Okay, very good. You have the correct answer. It's the only living producing part of the nail. Okay, this is... Uh, situated directly below the cuticle. So, makikita siya below the cuticle. New cells from here and continually push towards to produce the nail plate. Okay po. So, saan natin makikita yung matrix? From the, ay, below the cuticle. So, that is the matrix. Okay po. So, very good. Okay, next po. How about the nail bed? What do you mean by nail bed? Okay, sa loob na po ng nail. Okay, sa loob na po ng nail. For... De La Paz, then Gali, the part of the nail where the nail rest. Then for Mary, is uh, the nail bed is the pinkish, pinkish colored soft tissue underneath your nail plate. Okay, po for Briol. So, your answers are correct. So, for nail bed, the part of the nail where the nail plate rests on, also a continuation of the matrix. Okay. So, magkatugtong po siya sa matrix. Okay po, na kung saan makikita below the cuticle. So, yun, yun, yun po yung nail bed. Okay. Next po, how about the nail walls? The nail wall folds this of skin but overlap the sides of the nail, okay? For Gali, then we have also the De La Paz. 
Then, Mallorca, the nail wall is a continuous fold overlapping the sides and, prox and the proximal end of the nail. Very good. Your answers are correct. So, lahat po na nag-send ng correct answer, you have your five points. Okay, nail walls, the folds of skin that overlap the sides of the nail. So, very good po sa lahat na nagbigay ng tamang sagot. They hold your nail in place and protect the nail plate edges. Okay? So, yung nail walls, yun po yung nag-protect sa nail plate edges. Okay po? So, wag natin kakalimutan what is the functions of the different parts or the different structures of the nail. Okay. Next po, we have the nail plate. So, what is the nail plate? Okay, obvious, the nail plate visible that rests on the nail bed of the free edge. Okay, very good. Then, Juliana also, you have the correct answer. Marie Claire, then De La Paz, Erica, Ariane, Castillo, Angela, Benz, very good. Mary Jean, very good. Then we have also Holieto. Then we have Palmi Palmihar also, you have the correct answer. Then John Kenneth also, you have the correct answer. Miles also, Christian Miles, very good. So for the nail plate, it is visible nail that rests on the nail bed of to the free edge. Okay, this made up of dead cells and minimum amount of moisture. So, the nail is semi-transparent, allowing the color of blood supply to the dermis to show. Okay. So, yun yung makikita natin na parang nagpukulay red na yung ano natin. So, that is the nail plate. Okay po? So, next po. Okay. So, take a look again. Take a look with the picture. Okay po? The shapes of the nail. So, kanina, so those are the structure or the parts of the nail and its structures. So, wag po natin kalimutan. So, ilan po yun? So, we have five. Tama po ba? Six. So, do not forget the different uh, structure of the nail. Okay, so now let's go to the shapes of the nail. So we have different shapes of the nail. So what do you think are the shape of the nails? Do you have an idea what are the different shapes of the nails? The oval nail, very good, Marquez. De La Paz, oval nail. Same answer with uh, Marie. Round nail, square. Okay, the oval nail, Mary Jean. You have also your answer, Marie Claire, Juliana. Okay, very good. So you have your idea. Of the different shapes of the nail. So we have here the sample pictures of your answers given. Okay po. So ito na po yung mga sample pictures na mga sagot ninyo na ibinigay. So tama po. We have square. We have also the oval nail, the round nail, the squabble nail, and the pointed nail. So, malinaw po ba yung sample picture ko? For you to visualize kung ano yung itsura ng iba't ibang shape of the nail. Okay. 
So, okay po. Malinaw yung sample picture ko dito. Okay, Harabay. Very good. You have your answer. Okay, thank you so much, Bianca. So, for oval nail, ayan. So, I have here sample pictures also na meron ng nail polish. So, oval nail is a common among people with long perfect nail beds. So, tingnan nyo yung mga kamay ninyo kung saan po dito sa sample shape of the nail ay na, uh, tawag dito na belong yung nail ninyo. Okay, the first one, you have the oval nail. So, check nyo po yung mga kuko ninyo kung oval nail ba yung kuko ninyo. Okay, it may be styled slightly rounded at the base and slightly pointed at the fingertips. Okay, again, the oval nail is a common among people with long perfect nail beds. It may be styled slightly rounded at the base and slightly pointed at the fingertips. Okay, slightly point, uh, pointed. So, meaning hindi siya masyadong matulis. Okay, di ba? So, yun po yung first picture na may kulay square po yung, uh, may square. So, yun po yung oval nail. Okay? So, nakita nyo po, square po. Ah, okay. Kay Makanas, square. Kay Briol, square din po yung nail. Very good. Okay, next po. Kasi may screenshots ko yun. Okay, next. So, how about the square nail? So, tingnan nyo po how kaga uh, gaano kaganda yung mga nail na yung shape niya po ay square. Okay po. So, napakalinis tingnan din. So, maganda po siya lagyan ng design. Yung nail art. Okay po. So, when we say square nail, this is the most famous among the nail shapes. So, ito yung pinaka-famous daw na nail shapes. It is created by allowing the nail to grow out straight and then, ayan, and then the feeling the tip straight across at the right angles with the rest of the nail plate. Okay. So, yung ano niya, uh, yung filing the tip straight, tingnan niyo po yung ano. Yung pagkakot sa dulo. Yung sa fingertip niya, yung pagkat sa dulo. So, pwede po natin gawing ganyan. Okay po? Depende po sa shape ng nail ninyo. So, sa akin kasi round nail. So, round nail po sa akin. Okay, round nail for shorter. Okay. So, that is the square nail. So, nakuha po. So, the most famous among the nail shapes. Okay. Next po. How about the round nail? So, round nail, ideal for shorter nails. So, kagaya sa akin, short po yung nail ko. So, round nail. Okay po? This is the strong shape which is great for those who keep their nails short. Oh, ako kasi hindi pwedeng uh, pahabain yung kuko. Then, mabilis po siyang atawag uh, dito. Na, babilis siyang na crack pag mahaba. So, mas gusto ko short, uh, nail, uh, short lang po yung nails ko kasi round nails. So, bagay po dito sa shape na ito. Okay po? So, similar to the square shape nail, round nails have straight sides but are rounded off at edges. Okay. So, again, round nail is the shorter nails. For the shorter nails, strong shape which is great for those who keep their nails short. So, yun po yung mga round nail. Okay. Next po. Ayan. Ano yan po yung mga halimbawa na mga round nail. 
So, sino po dyan sa inyo yung mga round nail? Check nyo po yung mga koko ninyo kung yung shape po ng nail nyo is round. Okay? Okay, next po. Yes, very good, Bianca. So, kailangan malinis din po yung mga kuko natin bago tayo maglalagay ng nail polish. Okay, very good, Villanueva. So, madami-dami din po pala yung mga round nail. Okay, next po. So, si Gasbon, tsaka si Simon also round, then Kabab also round nail. Okay, how about the squabal nail? Okay, so ito na yung squabal nail. It's a square nail but the softer edges of an oval. Okay, malambot yung edges ninyo so, sa gilid. So, hindi siya masyadong <clears throat> totally square. So, kagaya po ng square nail, tingnan nyo po yung square nail. Yung pagkakaiba sa squabal nail. So, meaning yung gilid niya, Yung gilid niya is medyo round, di ba? Yung pagkakat sa gilid. Okay po? But the softer edges of an oval. Okay? So oval shape yung pagkat sa gilid. This oval nail. Okay po? So again, sana hindi po kayo malito sa square nail, sa oval nail. Okay? So sino yung may kagayang ng shape na oval nail dyan? Okay, si Marques. Ah, round nail ka, Marques. Tama po ba? Oh. So, siguro itong squabble nail, minsan lang may mga ganong klaseng shape ng nail. Okay. Wow, si Harabay. Squabble nail. So, nice po. So, kailangan alagaan natin yung kuko natin. Kailangan laging maninis. Hindi naman kailangan, ah, hindi po kailangan may nail polish po kayo or nail art kayong ina-apply sa nail ninyo. Ang importante po ay malinis. Wala kang nakikitang mga ah, tawag dito nangingitim na lupa na inaangkin ng kuko ninyo. Okay po? So, kailangan malinis. Okay. So, next po. Okay, the last one we have. So, sample picture pala muna. Ayan. So, ang ganda din pala tingnan yung mga squabble nail. So, pag uh, halimbawa gusto nyong magkaroon ng nail salon, so tingnan nyo how they are going to cut or maintain the shape of the nail. Then, yung pag-apply ng nail art, oh, very attractive. Diba? So, ganyan. Yung sample picture natin. Okay, next po. We have the pointed nail. Ayan. Diyos ko, katakot-takot na kuko. So, again, but then very attractive. Tama po ba? So, sino yung mga pointed nail dyan? Okay. Ayan. So, yung sample na yan, pointed nail. So, di ba, very creative po yung gumamit ng nail polish na parang kristal. Tingnan. Okay. So, marami po ba dyan sa inyo yung pointed nail? Siguro, pag ganun yung mga shape ng kuko ninyo all the time, hindi na kayo makakagawa ng mga gawaing bahay kasi natatakot kayo baka maputol. Okay po? Yung laging gumagawa ng gawaing bahay na hindi natatakot na masira yung kuko, mostly po are the round nail. So pag ganyang klaseng kuko, nako, hindi pwedeng magkuskos ng mga kaldero kasi napakatulis. Hindi pwedeng ah, makipagharutan kasi baka mamaya makalmot yung mga kalaro nyo. Okay? So, kailangan, ayan, careful tayo. Pag ganyan po lagi yung, point, ah, yung shape ng, ah, if 
we're going to maintain the pointed nail. Okay? Wala namang masama noon, but pero kailangan careful tayo, 'di ba? Baka mamay makasugat tayo <clears throat> sa iba. So ayan. Okay po, so nakuha yung pointed nail. The shape is very weak as the sides of the nail which provide the strength are totally lost. Okay. Ayan. Okay, so how many ty uh, how many shapes of the nail we have? Five shapes of the nail, tama po ba? Okay, natandaan po ba what are the shapes of the nail? Can you give the five shapes of the nail bago tayo mag-proceed? Round nail po. What else? Five answers in every comment. Five answers in every comment po. Five shapes of the nail. Oval nail, square, round nail, nail, pointed nail. Okay, very good. Very good. Ayan. Ma uh, Barrientos, very good. We have Harabay also. Briol. Valenzuela, Palmihar. Then we have also Sereno, Gasbon, then Orejuela, Julieto, we have Mallorca, Kenneth. Okay, very good. At natatandaan nyo yung mga shapes of the nail. Hindi na kayo mawala ng score later pag we're going to start our quiz. Okay, Villaneva also. Very good. Okay, next. So, trim your nails. So, why we need to trim our nails? Okay. It is very easy task, but sometimes it causes little problems such as unwanted abrasions and ingrown nails. So, pag sinasabing ingrown, yun po yung masakit na uh, parang may naiwan doon sa ilalim. Yung minsan, pag malala yung ingrown natin, uh, nagnanana na siya. It's because mali po yung pagka trim natin sa nail natin. So, how we are going to trim our nails para maiwasan po yung problems? Okay po? When done that properly, apply the following steps while cutting nails. So, very good. You have the correct answer. To maintain your nails <coughs> cleanliness, very good, Briol. Then, Bianca, para po di po matanggal yung mga dumi sa kuko. Okay, because of their length, longer fingernails can harbor more dirt and bacteria than short nails. Okay, for Kenneth. So, kailangan po talaga natin i-maintain yung cleanliness ng nail natin. Halimbawa, kung gusto natin ganong klaseng shapes of the nail, mahaba, make sure na wala kang nakikitang lupa or dumi dyan sa kuko ninyo na nakasiksik. Okay po? So, kailangan i-maintain yung cleanliness ng nails. So, now, how we are going to do the cutting of nails to avoid problems para maiwasan yung abrasions, mga ingrown? Okay. So, we have the first steps. Para po matanggal yung mga dumi sa koko. Very good. Okay, we have 10 steps in trimming your nails. So, sino ba sa inyo dyan na hindi pa marunong mag-cut ng nails or mag-trim ng nails? Meron pa po ba sa inyo? Siguro naman alam nyo na mag-trim ng nails kasi you are uh, 13 years old. Tama po ba? 13 or 12 years old na kayo? So, alam nyo na kung paano i-trim. So, kung yung iba na hindi masyadong 
sanay mag-trim ng nail. So, we are going to discuss kung paano. Okay po. So, first one, we have prepare the types of instruments for this task. Nail cutter, okay, who has small or medium slight curved blades. So, alam natin, di ba, may iba-ibang shapes sa blade ng nail cutter natin. Okay, suitable for trimming the fingernails. Nail cutters with straight blades are suitable for use. Okay, so kailangan, di ba, may ibang shape ng nails. Kailangan alam natin paano gamitin. Okay po. Next, number two. So, for number two, step number two, before using your nail cutter, make sure that it is clean, of course. Di ba po? So, tingnan nyo muna kung malinis yung nail cutter ninyo bago nyo gagamitin. Wash your nail cutter to remove dust and germs. Okay? So, pwede rin natin uh, isanitize sa alcohol. Okay? Especially when you are sharing your nail cutter with someone else. So, kailangan, lalo na po pag may cashier tayo sa nail cutter, dry throughout after washing it. Okay po? So, again, step, uh, step number two, make sure that the nail cutter is clean before you are going to use. Okay? Next. For number three, <coughs> wash your hands. Okay? Very important. Wipe dry with any towel or tissue paper to remove extra water. This process cleans your fingernails and beside cleaning fingernails, it also helps in softening your nails and easier to cut them. Okay, di ba napapansin nyo, pag naghugas muna tayo ng kamay bago tayo mag-trim ng nails, ma hindi na tayo mahihirapan kasi malambot, di ba? Soft na yung nails natin. Mabilis na lang siya ititrim. Lalo na after washing clothes, medyo matagal na babad yung kamay ninyo, uh, <clears throat> mabilis na lang tayo mag-trim kasi lumalambot. Tama po ba ako? So, did you observe that? Diba? After washing, mapapansin nyo, uh, it helps in softening your nails and easier to cut. Diba? Okay, for step number four, ayan. So, sinong may ganyan sa bahay? Meron po ba? Sino sa inyo may ganyan sa bahay? You must cut your nails in a place where you can clearly see what you are doing. Put a small container near you in which you can collect the nails. So sa amin, wala kaming ganyan. Siguro sa mga uh, nail salon, meron silang ganyan. Or pwede naman po sa uh, malinis na tawag dito or plastic or towel. So, pwede natin ipatong doon yung kamay natin para hindi tayo mahirapan mag-dispose. Okay po? Hindi tayo mahirapan magtapon. Or, pwede natin walisin after yung mga nakakat na nails para po walang kalat. Okay po? So, kasi matulis din yon Pwede makasugat. Lalo na pag may mga baby kayo sa bahay. So, ingatan po natin na pag nag tayo ng nails, make sure po na naitapon ninyo yung mga cut nails. Then, malinis po yung place. Okay po? Maliwanag, malinis. Okay po? So, next. Step number five. So, for step number five, decide the shape of your nails. So, again, so pag medyo mahaba na yung nail ninyo, uh, isang buwan na hindi na cut, so you are going to decide kung anong shape ng nail ang gusto mo. So, alam nyo naman kung ano yung mga nails design or nail shape, di ba po? So, kung pointed nail, kailangan alam nyo paano nag gawing pointed, di ba? Kung gusto nyo yung oval nail, so make sure na yung oval nail, yung pagcuts, oval nail. Okay? So, lalo na po pag nasa na uh, salon tayo, nail salon, pag sinasabi ng customer ninyo, uh, gusto ko po na uh, gawing oval nail yung shape ng kuko ko. So, kailangan yung mga 
manicurists doon alam kung paano gawing oval nail yung nail ng request ng guest or the customers. Decide which shape you actually want. After deciding, lift the nail cutter and start cutting your nails. Ayan. So next, how about number six? Start cutting your nails starting from your little finger. So again, ayan. So mag-start pala tayo, okay, from your little finger. So ako kasi mag-start ako sa the bigger finger. So yung pinaka-start pala sa little finger. So pero ako, kung saan ako mag uh, kung saan ako comfortable kung ano yung unang ikakat ko, itong pinaka bigger one, okay, the pointed. Tama po ba? So, depende sa atin as long as tama yung pagkat. Next, number seven. Click on the nail cutter that can cut through the nail. You can make at least two or three cuts of a fingernail until everything is snug. Follow the curve of the nail to cut clean cut. Check skin. Locks after each cut and remove carefully. Ayan. So, kailangan two to three lang po yung cuts. Nakat mo na lahat. Okay? Wag po once lang. Di ba minsan pag nagmamadali ka, isang cut lang, sagad na sagad na. Okay? Hindi po ma-shape yung nail ninyo. Make sure na dito muna sa gilid, then the other side, then sa gitna. Okay po? Wag po natin isang cut lang. Gusto mo isang cut lang para maputol na agad lahat-lahat. So, merong possibility na masugat kayo. Okay po? Again, you can make at least two or three cuts. Okay? Two or three cuts. So, okay na yon, Enough na siya. Okay? Did you get? Naintindihan po ba yung instra uh, ano natin, explanation? Very good. Okay, thank you. Next po tayo. How about step number seven? Step number eight, sit comfortably and crotch your knee. Okay, side to easily reach up and see the nails clearly. So, pag meron tayong mga ganyan, so, Take a look with my sample picture. Pag kayo po ang manicurist, kailangan ganyan yung position. Okay po? Be sure not to set up deep resort to prevent scratches. So remember yung mga hazards, di ba po? So kung paano tayo uh, umupo properly, yung mga position natin to do the nail hair activity, So, kailangan, tandaan nyo po yun para maiwasan yung mga hazards, okay po? Or mga injuries na pwedeng mangyari. Okay, feel any discomfort, okay po? So, number nine, after cutting your nails, use a nail file to smooth any rough and odd surface of newly trimmed nail. So, what do you think is that? Did you still remember what type of material is that? After cutting the nails, ano pong tawag dyan sa ginagamit ng girl na nag-trim uh, nag ay parang nag-label siya ng nail? What do you call that one? Okay, the nail file. Very good, Mallorca. Ayan. Emery board, yes. Tama po. That is also called the emery board or the nail file. Same lang po yun. Ayan, very good. Natandaan nyo pa po yung material na ginagamit. Okay. So, number 10, apply some moisturizer on your hands to keep the cuticles moisturized and smooth. Ayan. So, sa bahay, pwede naman pong uh, lotion. So, pwede pong yun na lang ang gagamitin natin. Then, pwede rin afterwards, pwede rin po tayong mag, tawag dito, mag-wash ng hands after po na mag-cut. So, pero, para po sa mga nail salon, after cutting the nails, 
lalo na pag may mga signature, mga mamahaling hair salon, yun po yung mga moisturizer na pwede nating gamitin, okay? To keep the cuticles moisturized and smooth. Diba? Tandaan nyo po, kasama yan sa materials na ginagamit. Remember, anong tawag doon? <coughs> Yung moisturizer natin na ina-apply for nail activity. <coughs> Did you still remember? Di ba kasama po yan? Okay, hand lotion. Very good. Hand sanitizer, yes, tama, Ariane. We have also the hand sanitizer. So, yun. Okay. So, are there any questions? Naintindihan po ba yung discussion natin? Okay na po. Wala nang tanong. Quiz time tayo. So, it's already 2 o'clock. So, you are going to screenshots our quiz. Then, you are going to answer in your answer sheets or notebook. Then, afterwards, ipasa po sa akin. Again, yung quiz po natin ngayon, ipapasa po sa akin. Um, hanggang 5 p.m. Okay po? Ihintayin ko po hanggang 5 p.m. Makikita ko naman dyan kung anong oras nyo po sinesend sa akin. Okay po? Okay. Question 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Kindly screenshots the slides for test A. Answer only. Okay na po? Yes po, is, ano, isend po sa akin. Again, isend po sa akin yung sagot. Hindi po sa GC. Sa akin po, isend yung sagot. Okay, next. Now, test B. Okay, picturean nyo po. Okay na? Isend ko rin po sa GC natin yung question para meron din po kayong guide. Okay. So again, that's all for today. Thank you so much po, grade 8 mahogany. I hope you learned today and you can answer our quiz perfectly po ha. Kailangan perfect po yung mga sagot ninyo kasi na-discuss na na po natin lahat. Okay po, thank you so much. Goodbye class. God bless you all. Thank you, everyone.